Hi and welcome to another session. Today we're going to find the fourth vertex of a parallelogram. In short, we call that a palm. If we look at the figure that has been given, we have A, B, C, D, and you will notice that A, B, and C, we have the coordinates, and we don't have point D. Our mission today is to find point D. So if we go back to the properties of a palm, we know that the midpoint of AC has to be equal to the midpoint of BD. They have a common midpoint because the diagonals of a palm bisect each other. So first, let's find the midpoint of AC. And I just want to remind you of our distance formula, which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Essentially, we're finding the average of the x and y values. So if we go back to AC, we're taking 3 plus 1, divided by 2, 2 minus 2 divided by 2. And that will give us an answer of 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 divided by 2 is 0. Now, the midpoint of BD is equal to the midpoint of AC. So let's go find the midpoint of BD using the points that we have. And if we do that, we have x minus 1 divided by 2, and y plus 5 divided by 2, which is equal to the midpoint of AC, which is 2, 0. And if we go and split this, because remember 2 represents your x value, 0 represents your y value, so I can say x minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 2. In the same way, I'm going to split the y, and I'll end up with y plus 5 over 2 is equal to 0. And using our algebra, we would find out an LCD if we want to cross multiply. We will end up with x minus 1 is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. And we take minus 1 on the other side. That will give us 5. Moving on the other side, we're going to have y plus 5. 0 times 2 is 0. And that gives me y is equal to minus 5. And that gives me my, po my point that I'm looking for, which is the fourth vertex, d, which is 5 minus 5. Now, I want you to remember this answer because we're now going to move on to a quicker method and see if we can obtain the same answer. So, back to our diagram, method 2. From physics, we can use the vector method. And we know vectors, they talk about magnitude and direction, which is vital. So, if we look at point B to A, and if we move right, which is representing our x-axis, from B to A on our x-axis, we are moving from minus 1 to point 3. And that is a movement of 4 units. So, from minus 1 to point 3 is a plus 4. We are moving right. So, from the x value of C, which is 1, if we add on 4 units, that will take us to 1 plus 4 giving us 5. So the x value for point D is 5. Now we're going to move down our y axis from B to C. B is 5 and C is minus 2. So I have to move 7 units down to get to C. 5 minus minus 2 is 7 units. So in the same way, I'm going to move from A to D 7 units. So from B to C is 7 units. So from D, so to get to point D, I'm going to move from point which is 2. And if I take away 7 because I'm going down, which gives me minus 5. And that gives us D being the fourth vertex 5 minus 5. Thank you.